Welcome back. We've worked on happy, we've worked on sad, now let's do angry. Okay, for his angry face, we have the eye sockets narrowed down and angled downwards towards the center of the face. So they're looking like this. He's mad, he's determined. So, we're gonna put his eyeballs into the sockets. And I only want to do this part with you guys, just so I can show you how the eyes should look after you fit them into the sockets. Okay, you, they, they need to be angled downwards, okay? And you don't want to make them too thick. And even though they look thicker than they should now, they won't after we add the cheeks and the eyebrows and the eyelids and all that good stuff. So I'm going to jump ahead to the mouth and skip some of the stuff that we've already seen before. Okay, so his mouth is going to be, he's going to be showing his teeth. So we're going to do that. You have your ball of white clay, you flatten it out all the way, and then you pinch right in the center, and then it kind of looks like this. Your goal here is to almost make like a peanut shape. You want to make a peanut shape with the white clay and make sure, okay, yeah, I made it too, too big. And make sure it's not too big. Okay. There you go. Peanut shape. So, Put that down and make that shield shape again, or the rounded triangle shape. I call it a shield because it kind of looks like a shield. But we're going to take the bottom and flatten that out completely so it's no longer going to look like a triangle. Now it'll look like this. Put that bottom of his face. Apply the peanut shape. Give him his nose. Now here's the tricky part. You're going to take this cream color, roll it out, thin it out. Great. It's going to look like this, a little string. And it's okay if it's too, if it's super long, but you're gonna put this over his teeth. So that his teeth don't look like they're just attached to the outside of his mouth. You want it to look like on the inside of his face, the inside of his mouth. Once you have that onto the peanut shaped teeth, you can do one of two things. You can either take a toothpick or you can draw and, and draw in the lines for his teeth and do it that way. 
or you can take black clay, which is, this is how I recommend it. Thin that out. And apply it. Right on top there. It looks like that. Now I'm going to add little lines going across his mouth so it looks like he has a full set of teeth. So, there you have his teeth. I think he's looking pretty angry so far. Let's work on his eyebrows and his eyelids. So for the eyelids, it's just going to be the same color as the eyebrows. And you're just going to lay them. directly on top of the eye, just like that. Very heavy. Not as heavy as if um, as as if he was tired, but heavy enough that he doesn't look kinda just disgusted or like, over it. You want him to look actually angry. There you go. Okay. Now for his eyebrows. You want to make them go downward and then curve a little bit at the end. Not a whole lot of curve. They're going to look like this. There you go. Now for his ears, we're going to have them going back. So, same thing as before with each set of ears, just angle them back. And there you have it. Okay, so that is angry, happy, and sad slash tired. So those are your expressions. You can apply this to any kind of character. Just don't do exactly what I did in each one. And thank you so much for joining me. You can find me on Instagram at SuperSculptor, or you can email me. You can find my email in the About Me part of the page. Um, See you next week, and feel free to send me some pictures of your stuff.